Earth Local. So we're going to go with AOD Gaming versus Adam. Nod Mirror matchup on Quarry. So we got Adam spawning in the top left is the gold nod. AOD in the bottom right is the blue nod. Both players opting with the power plant forward. All straightforward so far. Looks like AOD being slightly greedy, going with the refinery straight after the power plant, whereas Adam has been more traditional, getting the racks up. Then getting his refinery. This enables uh, Adam to get the scouts up first. Because of the nature of the map and the amount of travel time it takes to get to your opponent's base, you can get away with getting your refinery first, so long as your opponent isn't heavily anti scouting. But it's looking like two ref here for AOD, two ref here for Adam. Vision wise, you can see, as expected, because AOD went with the ref AOD. first, his vision is slightly behind. Adam not making use of his scouts to get vision of uh, these sections, which can be quite valuable. And it looks like we got 3 ref from AOD and 3 ref from Adam. Expect both players to go with a strip forward. Here and here it uses part of a crawl either towards the center or the sides. Uh, we'll be curious to see if AOD opts to go down towards the bottom. It's not very traditional but occasionally you might see him do it. Again, vision wise AOD now is better vision than Adam. He's going to have more map awareness, know what's going on. And it looks like Adam's first to get the strip down, followed immediately by AOD. Power plant down for Adam. Power plant down for AOD. Silo down for Adam. Two silos for Adam. AOD only opting for the one silo at his placement. Doesn't necessarily need a second one, so it's a bit more refined build. Um, we'll see how it pans out. Adam selling the silos here, AOD getting his ref down, Adam now starting to crawl towards the left hand side, meanwhile we see AOD looks like he's going to start crawling towards the bottom, this is interesting, so he is going for the bottom spawn spot, bit of an unusual choice to crawl all the way, all the way up towards here before choosing the go bottom, this ref is going to be a bit of a pain point to defend. Uh, Adam, meanwhile, has gone more traditional. He's up to 5 ref now, with his ref here on the side. Meanwhile, AOD is still sitting on 4. We'll be getting his 5th here shortly. Uh, Adam having the buggy lead here. AOD needs to be careful. Selling off the silos, of course. Okay, AOD trying to block off the escape here now for Adam's buggies. Adam now opting to go towards the top ref. He might get this. And we're hearing the sell off of the silos there for Adam. Now up to 6 ref on Adam's side versus 5 on AOD's. It looks like Adam is getting a second strip up. Uh, I'm not quite sure what AOD's going for here. He, went, he got a hand and odd in a turret here to help reinforce this, so this has set him back in terms of his eco. Adam's definitely got an economic lead at the moment. We'll see how long he sustains it and what he uses it for. And it looks like at this point AOD is now on 6 refs, so they're matching in refs. Adam, I expect to have his second strip down here pretty soon. Uh, looks like he's actually opted to put it back here and not go forward. So in response to AOD like decrawling this way, Adam doesn't want a phase building into him. So he's going to start his crawl up towards the top tip field. And there he goes with the silos. And AOD happy to camp out for a bit. Needs to get a second strip up pretty quickly or else Adam's going to have a huge lead of buggies. Already starting to look that way on the mini map. AOD pushing in towards the rest on the left. Meanwhile AOD trying to hold the line here. Uh, Adam now is the eco lead. He's up to a 7th ref. 
Meanwhile, AOD has gotten his second strip ult, but he's opted to put it this direction, so he looks like he intends to crawl on the side now. Adam, meanwhile, pushing on the left hand side here, applying pressure here. AOD now up to 7 ref. Turret here coming in useful for AOD for defensive purposes. Going on a slight counter attack here, going for the refinery up top. Might get it! Seeing a bit of wall go down from Adam, not sure what the decision there was. Gets the ref, down she goes. AOD happy to pull back, he's done the damage he needs to. Uh, AOD is still not opting to get his refinery up. He placed the concrete here because the buggies can't target it, and now he's going to be able to build off that. It's actually quite smart. Nicely done, Adam. Sandbags would do just as well. Uh, and as you can see, AOD is now miles ahead in terms of his crawl. He's planning to try to get to the top right, but Adam's already here, and he wants to deny that crawl. He needs to keep his units here, and he's failed to do it. Had the right idea, but his units are just not in the right position. Now we see Adam is on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ref versus AOD is on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, now 9 ref. So AOD has a slight eco lead. See a bit of pressure in here from AOD, going to get a free power plant while Adam's distracted dealing with this expansion. Uh, Adam meanwhile needs to finish, needs to keep expanding himself if he wants to stay competitive in the game. AOD's keeping the bottom safe. Looks like Adam got one of the refs here. Meanwhile, top. Adam's securing the expansion here with a couple of turrets. This is good. AOD pressing forward here a bit. Looks like he wants to try and take map control. Possibly going to crawl towards the bottom left. Uh, Adam, meanwhile, is still pushing a little bit here. He'll want to try and build in and contest this field. Or at the very least, try and take ownership of this field. So he doesn't take one of them, he's super far behind. And here we have Adam continuing the expansion towards the bottom left, and AOD following suit. It's going to be pretty, uh, pretty neck and neck. And we see Adam's got the boogie lead here, it looks like. Still counts for it even between both players, Adam 125, AOD 120. Slight lead for Adam. A little glitch side of animation there, very nice. And it looks like Adam's finally getting his ref here. So now this is basically mirroring AOD's map positioning. Both players have almost a diagonal split on the map. It's pretty cool to see, you don't see it super often. AOD though still pressing in here with his buggies and a couple of bikes in the next now. Looks like he's his pathing is having him go all the way around. Or is he opting to do this deliberately? He's opting to try and take this position here. He got the ref in the center. AOD still pushing in, trying to take ownership of this. Adam now got a ref lead. He's got two buggies in the corner. AOD only has one. Uh, he is missing the one in the center though, so it does somewhat balance out. And looks like Adam's going to be successful in knocking back this little expansion. Adam with the 10 buggy lead now. Kills the unwell. Adam now rushing up to the top spot. He's going to try to hold the positioning, prevent AOD from counter-attacking. And it looks like AOD has managed to secure the bottom left side of the map, taking out one ref. He's going to be hungry wanting to get the second one, but I'm not sure he's going to be able to get it. He'll also want to be trying to set up his own eco here with the refinery. Putting a forward hand and on, it's a nice touch. Using sandbags here, buggies again can shoot the sandbags. So it's a, it's a nice play. We see here Adam's going to do some pressure in the top right, while AOD is taking pressure on the bottom left. Adam opting to pull out of here, AOD's got turrets down, meanwhile Adam is rushing to try and keep control of this section of the map. Would expect to see maybe a turret or two pop up here from Adam. Uh, and if you have a look at the uh, Tiberium on the map at the moment, you'll see that the starting section here is totally mined out for AOD. Adam still has a little bit left. 
I'm not quite sure why he's that much extra too at this point in the game, but it's uh, it's definitely going to work to his favor for a little bit. And down go the two refs here from Adam. So AOD is now back on top of the eco game, especially if he can get his own refinery set up here. Meanwhile, Adam is kind of putting a pressure here and here. He needs to make something happen. Even though he's got the 40 kill count lead, AOD still has the better map control at the moment. Definitely has more refineries to say the least. Adam keep pressuring here, keeping pressure here. AOD is kind of running his units down through the center. Pulling back a little bit. Gonna lose that hard if he's not careful. This is the worst thing about the middle refs, the Harv just goes crazy going through the other side for Tib. Uh, looks like AOD's consolidating his forces on the bottom left. He has a turret here. Uh, Adam continuing to apply pressure here. Interesting that AOD's opted to mix in a couple of bikes with his armies to help deal with turrets and extra damage against the vehicles. Whereas Adam, as he is known to do, is just going pure buggies. Would like to see a couple of bikes mixed in, especially for dealing with turrets. But uh, AOD losing a lot of his pressure here. It needs to be careful. All of these harvesters that have mined out this tib are now going towards this corner. And uh, Adam's not letting them get that for free. Meanwhile, the top tib field is still happily being mined out by Adam. He got there slightly later, later and it's, uh, it's still up for grabs. He feels safe and secure in terms of getting that eco. And AOD selling off the onion silo. Trying to sit on the tip here, which prevents Adam from getting it. Meanwhile, the top right, Adam is going in for a counter attack here. Has actually mixed in a couple of bikes deliberately to take out the turrets. Good man, Adam. Alright, he's going towards the top right corner. Nice, and now Adam's going to sit in the top right tip. Or is he going to pull out? He's pulling out for now. But it looks like he's trying to basically replicate what AOD's got going on here. And he's taking out Adam's harms one at a time. That's going to be very painful. And Adam being forced to retreat. AOD now owning... But he's lost his ref in the top right corner. So it is an interesting back and forth. Either player wanting to give up full map ownership. Adam is now pushing quite heavily into AOD's section of the map. These refs don't hold as much value as they would earlier in the game because there's not much to the left here, right? Um, but with these gone and no ref up here, all of his harps are going to have to go from this tip field all the way down to here, which is huge. Uh, so Adam getting a bunch of units, sitting them towards the top. You can see AOD now going to attack into it, try to reclaim it. And we're seeing a conyard cell from AOD not long ago, and from Adam. So both players are happy enough with their full expansion and are now just playing it out. It's all to play for in these corners. And we're also seeing AOD doing a counter attack on the bottom left while Adam's out of position. Adam being super focused on trying to do big damage to the harves here in the top right. AOD gets a power plant. He's going to get the refs here too, but they're not a huge value for Adam anymore. Adam going to continue pressuring in here. The players doing good damage to each other's bases. Adam now consolidating his forces in this little choke point. While also going on the counter attack on the right hand side. Pretty close game. We're seeing Adam staying on top of things. AOD is kind of settled back here. He knows the production buildings are here, so attacking into them is dangerous. Adam trying to take out an airstrip with just buggies. It's gonna take quite a while. Meanwhile, we can see that uh, AOD has sold off his bottom refs here. They're totally useless at this point in the game. Adam coming in here towards the center. Seeing light tank coming out from AOD. Not a bad call. 
And especially since Adam is going primarily buggies and he's trying to attack into these key structures now. So having these kind of slow moving, mostly static uh, units isn't the worst thing in the world, especially to do heavy damage against buggies. So we got buggies still coming in from Adam, <laughs> no surprise. Uh, AOD, meanwhile, getting a couple of bikes it looks like. It's an interesting choice. You might be getting them to try and take out the turrets up here. Mixed in with the minigunners, it's pretty good. Adam again with the buggies. See if Adam just had a couple of bikes in with his army, he'd be able to damage these structures a lot better. But AOD's getting free reign in the bottom left tib. Adam's getting free reign with the top right tib. Although it looks like AOD is sending in the bikes now to deal some damage here. He knows that the eco is what's going to decide this game. And he's going to start picking off those halves as soon as he can. He also has his airstrip here surrounded by infantry in the light tank. It's pretty sweet. And you may want to consider selling these sandbags. The halves are pathing around it awkwardly. Alright. AOD was going to go for an attack there but he's pulling back. Doesn't want to lose all these bikes. It's very hard to attack into these static choke points on quarry. Defender's advantage can be quite huge. Uh, we're seeing while AOD is holding this, he's got his bikes going on the left hand side, going for the harvest that's on the loose. Very nice picking off of the harvester there. He's going to run back with the bikes and wait for another opportunity. Adam, meanwhile, not li taking it lightly, he's going in with all of his buggies in the bottom left. He's going to try and secure this tip, take out the racks that's here. Adam now mining from the top right field. AOD spawning under loose harvesters, taking his bikes, going to town on it. These harvester snipes are going to be uh, potentially make or break for the game. It's not so much the individual harvesters because there's so much on the field, but there's so little tibs. So even if your harvester is a full half load and it gets sniped at this point, it's a huge deal. AOD doing a good job, pulling his bikes back now to try and act more defensively. Adam going in for a potential snipe here with a huge amount of buggies. But again, he's coming up against this medium tank, or a light tank. Also trying to do some damage here. He wants to try and get some revenge and snipe the uh, harms, but buggies aren't going to do it. Buggies will take a lifetime to kill a single harvester, whereas the bikes are just shredding them to pieces. It looks like Adam's offered to get a couple of artillery in the mix to deal with the mass infantry that were around the, uh, the airstrip. Not the worst idea. AOD going counter artillery? What the fuck is this shit? What? Ah, lads, what are you, what are you doing? Bunch of messers. So, bottom left, we now Adam using his buggies. He wants to try and take this hard, but there's a lot of minigunners here to defend it. AOD is now, what's he going for? He's got two RD? He's got the bikes back on the case here to, re to basically just defend his eco. And it's looking more and more in. Well, interesting, like. Adam's got a 36 and a bit, like 37 unit kill lead. Uh, so Adam is technically ahead in the kill count, but looking at what's on the map right now, I don't know how this is going to play out. Like, if Adam just keeps killing buggies, he's not going to be able to break through the turrets here. Oh, are you kidding me? The game crashed! What? Oh, are you kidding me? Really? Okay, bear with me. I'll load it back up. Wow. Wow. This game. For a remaster, it sure still has a lot of uh, rough edges, let's say. <laughs> Epic ending, Incia? Yeah. Come on. That's super it's super annoying when that happens. Alright, we're loading back up. The suspense. The suspense is real. 
game is just too much for the uh, for the client to handle, you know. But from where it was currently sitting, it definitely looked to be in. Um, like Adam had more kills, but it, it felt like AOD had the better unit composition. Just having more bikes on the field, uh, and Adam continuously spamming almost pure buggies for the entire game is not doing him favors when it comes to actually having to tackle those uh, turreted positions. Um, but we'll see how it uh, we'll see how it played out. So it was around the twenty-one minute mark. We'll skip ahead. Yeah, so it was around here-ish. So, we have Adam on the bottom left with his buggy. He's trying to get this harvester, but the mini gunners are doing some uh, some good defensive work. Looks like he might get it though. AOD bringing in his little bike swarm. Gonna try pick off the buggies, prevent them from taking out the harv. And it looks like he's gonna hold them off, and he gets them. Meanwhile, Adam on the top right, he's got his buggies in tow. AOD continuing to pressure the little unit force down here. Uh, at this rate, AOD is going to be able to send all of this up here and actually start doing some damage to the key structures. Um, meanwhile, Adam is being torn. He doesn't really want to move all of his units away from his, uh, his harves here because he's afraid they'll get sniped. But he's got no choice. He has to do something. AOD coming up with the bikes. Alright, it's about an equal army situation here. Of course, AOD does have a couple more units sitting back here on his base. We're seeing the sell off of some power plants. Wanna say? Okay, Adam opting to try and pick off some of these loose infantry while they're in the forward position. Needs to micro those buggies pretty damn good to make this work. He's building more buggies, but bikes are shredding them to pieces. Meanwhile, AOD looks like he switched back to producing just bikes. Bill player's eco is pretty low at this point. Not a lot of harves left on the field. You got one in this ref for Adam, one back there, that's two. This one, three. Versus AOD, who's got one here, two, three. So both players on about three harves. And mostly Adam's going to get the harv snipe here. But AOD's got so many bikes. Adam's gonna reconsolidate his forces here and try take out some of these bikes from both angles. This is good. Adam's hairs have stuck here. Despite having full access to the map, the two of them have chosen to lock in in the center. That's really unfortunate for Adam. Harv AI is such a pain in the ass once he gets to the uh, towards the end. Okay, AOD is doing a good job with the micro here. He's actually focusing on the harves once again. He knows that Adam loses all of his harves, it's game over. Four four bikes versus two. And AOD is sold his strip, not a bad call. He's going to be able to use the 1000 from that to produce a couple more units, uh, which could just give him enough of an advantage over Adam, who still has both strips. You lose the advantage of having two of these as soon as your eco gets super low. Gets one harv. This, is this the last harv? Oh, there's one more here. Okay, second last harv for Adam here. And Adam, using all the infantry from his sold structures here, by the looks of things. Come on out. <laughs> this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be close. Mini gunners can shred through the bikes, but they are fast enough to run past it. So Adam has to be really smart when how he uses his stuff here. Splitting it is not the way to go. Because then the bikes can just do this. 
uh, harm free. And even if the minigunners get this harvester, like, I don't think it's going to be enough. So they got the harv. So AOD now is this harvester. This is the last harvester? This is AOD's last harvester. So if he gets this. Oh, the flamer pops out from AOD. Oh, not quite going to get the harv. And is that it for Adam? Adam still has the one harvester as well, so both players have one harv. Oof. But it looks like AOD's going to take out the last one for Adam here. Uh, Adam, of course, having sold his second strip, and that's it. Adam's out of cash. Meanwhile, AOD still has one harvester, although it's not doing anything at the moment. That's it. AOD wins at this point. So long as he doesn't lose that harv with the remaining units in the field, which he shouldn't. Uh, you can bring these artillery over here to reinforce the uh, the RAF as well, which looks like he's going to do. They'll work nicely against the infantry, and then the bikes can take out the buggies. You can see them there trying to block the uh, the harv going into the RAF. Oof, gets that one RAF. Gonna do some damage and harassment to the harv here, but not quite gonna be enough. And that's gonna be G G's. Very interesting game. A lot of nice back and forth between both players. Cool to see it play out where they both basically had full the icon control of each half of the map. Uh, the thing that it really kind of came down to was I think AOD was aware uh, that the harvs were the priority earlier before Adam. And also, I think it kind of came down a bit towards map control in the top left, or the top right and the bottom left quadrants. I think AOD had better control of those once he went to them. Adam got him to, to, to them a little bit later, which delayed his eco. But even the unit's kill count here, it's an even 562 to 562. Adam killed more structures, 18 to 9. Uh, definitely well played by both players, that's for sure. Uh, I'm definitely interested to see more from these two in the future, but uh, great job, guys. Very, very good game. Uh, so good it crashed the client at least once. <laughs> and Adam selling out there at the end. GG's, AOD's gonna take it. Will show the score? Oh, we'll show the scores for you. So it's gonna end up with both players with their resources gathered. Oh, <laughs> there's only 75 in the difference between resources gathered. Adam actually had more cash by the end, uh, which is interesting. Not a lot, but a little bit more. And then unit kills, yeah, 562 to 562. Damn, that was close. Like, wow. I don't think I've seen a game with a scoring that close ever. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, GG's both players, well played.